Hi guys, a very good evening to all of you. And I see quite a few students waiting. And uh, today we have another session of grammar prepositions. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is Bobby Yadav. I've taught for various common written exams like math banking exams, as well as CAT, which is my forte. And uh, I have about more than a decade's experience teaching in these common written exams. And other than that, I have also held several soft skill training programs all across Bangalore, um, several renowned colleges of Bangalore, and uh, worked in several renowned institutions before I joined an academy. Please subscribe to hashtag CatLife daily. Uh, those students who are new, if you subscribe to uh, Cat Live Daily, you will be able to get the notification of the classes. Great, guys, uh, let's get started. So, coming to the An Academy uh, a Telegram channel, let's see who all are here. I'll just say a quick hello. Okay. So, we have Rimi. Hi, Rimi. Ambika, Mansi Verma, Meet Patel. Jyoti Pare, Ritika Chaudhary, Aishwarya, Uday Kulkarni, Tanish, a very warm welcome to all of you. And uh, let me get back to Telegram channel. So guys, uh, it is here that you can download the PDF of the sessions that we have. So you have to click on the download Telegram channel first. Click on the URL livedaily.me slash chat and look for an academy cat. Uh, okay and you can download the pdfs from here so we have Vimle singh we have meet patel amir diksha risky saurav Bhavmi. a very very good evening to all of you welcome to the session and guys uh, an academy subscription hi manish uh, so guys uh, very very important and uh, please take this seriously if you really want to start off your preparations on a serious note please do take a subscription you will be um, having us to guide you through your journey um, and uh, the subscriptions are very very pocket friendly guys if you're going for the um, 2021 cat you can go for the 12 month subscription and if you're going for 2022 cat you can go for the 24 month subscription and use my referral code byliv and you will get a discount of 10 percent so who else do we have here? Uh, we have Neha, Sheetal, Saurav, Aman Dubey, uh, Shrishti Singh, um, Gol Govind, Aman Dubey. A very, very warm welcome, guys. Uh, great. So uh, we are going to do a session on prepositions today. So before I get started, guys, a word of advice. You know, um, prepositions <laughs> as a part of speech sounds very easy what is there you will have in on over under uh, at um, and all that it is very easy there's nothing much to study but uh, you know at this at a point of time uh, these are the you know parts of speech which really makes it difficult at times and uh, though they look so small and so easy it can make a world of difference to the meaning of the sentence so just be very, very careful throughout the session, guys, start making notes, uh, the important points, because that is going to help you when you spot the errors in the sentences, right? So hi, Dhruven, Prince Gupta, Balaji Rao, Satish Kumar, a very good evening. Aman Dubey, I'm fine, my dear. How are you? Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, shall we get started? Are you ready? Where is our other uh, students? Rahul Singh, hi. Our Yogita, Ambika, uh, Aishwarya Tiwari, all these students join in rate. Hi, Rahul. Okay, let's get started. Please pay attention, guys. Okay, so what is a preposition to start off with? So preposition is a word that is used before a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun connecting it to another word it is basically if you know uh, 
A preposition is used to give a connect to a sentence, okay? Or it may give you additional information. So this two part you be very, very careful. Um, and always remember that prepositions are used to give a connect or to give you additional information. Now guys, uh, just uh, for your, um, uh, just for clarity, you know, I would want to cite this example. Just look at the first sentence. It's saying Alex hunts animals, right? Now, do you find a preposition in it, guys? The first sentence, do you find a preposition in it? Hi, Yogita, Poonam, Vishal, Shivangi. So, the girls have come in. Saurav, Yogita, Anirvan. So, all the students have come in now. Yeah. So, guys, the first sentence, do you find a preposition there? Yes, I would want you to answer quickly. PI and LR lecture is taken by Ashish sir, Meet Patel. Beautiful evening, uh, Shivendra. Hi, Nisha. No preposition, right? But if you look at sentence 2, the second sentence, what is it saying? Alex hunts animals in the forest. Now, which is the preposition in the second sentence? Good evening, Nisha. Correct, Balaji. Second sentence may preposition kaun sa hai batao? Which is the preposition used in the second sentence? Tell me. Good evening, dedicated Saul. In. Very good. Now, can you see, guys? I want you to. I want you to get a very clear picture. That's the reason you may you may feel that ma'am is asking silly questions. Okay, but I'm asking these silly questions so that I can um, explain what I am actually telling you. Right now, see, guys, what did I tell you? That preposition is used to give a connect or give you additional information. Now, when you are saying. Alex hands animals where? What is it doing? It is giving you additional information in the forest. That's where the preposition comes in. Now, can you understand the definition? Can you understand the function of a preposition, guys? Very simple to understand, but you should use it correctly in the sentence. What's the right time for cat? This is the right time. Whenever you start your preparation is the right time. Okay? So, fine. Let me go on to the next one. Now, I come to types of prepositions. Okay? The first type of preposition, guys, preposition for time. Now, the problem which arises here is, uh, see, the preposition for time is at, on, in. But this preposition these prepositions that is at, on and in can be used for place also. Thank you, Rinpa. Thank you. So, this can be used for place also. Here comes the confusion, okay? So, when you are using prepositions for time, so what does it entail time of the day? I can say, I will see you at 3 p.m. You at, let me say, 7 p.m. because I see you at 7 p.m. every day. Right? Then a specific time, uh, that is a month or a year. So I can say, my birthday is on. Good evening, Winky. Uh, so shall I give you the correct date? <laughs> okay. So my birthday is on 23rd of October. Okay, whatever the month, the, month, the year I am not going to give you, okay. Then, ma'am, congrats for, oh, thank you, Rinpa. So, you guys have made it possible, isn't it? Uh, then, we have days or dates. I Like here, you are using a date, right? And day, I can say that um, I am meeting my friend. 
Good evening, Sarveshwari. Minimum percentile, you want to go to the IIMs, so you will have, you should have a 95 plus percentile. Yes, it is 23rd October. <laughs> it's gone, already gone. <laughs> so guys, I can, let me, let us get back to the example. So when I talk of uh, days, I can say that um, uh, six days before mine. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I can say that um, my college is going to reopen on Monday. So here, if you see, you have a day here. Here you have month. And here you have time. So when you are using preposition for time, you are going to use at, on, and in. Yeah, if you want to go to, if you are opting for IMABC, it has to be 99.9. Yes, 100% Sarveshwari. Okay, let's move on. Now we have preposition for place. Guys, again, if you notice, I told you that the preposition for time and preposition for place remains the same. It is in on and at again but it depends on how you use it okay now look at this when you are referring to in okay when you are referring to in with reference to prepositions for place the reference is to a virtual boundary i can say that i was teaching the students in the classroom now in the classroom the classroom has a virtual boundary right or I can say, um, uh, I was watching television in the drawing room. So that is also in the virtual boundary. I was, I was walking in the park. Now that has also got a virtual boundary. Right. Now let's move on to on. Okay. Used to refer to a, whenever you are using on. Okay. Uh, three of them can be used in all three in the first one. No, 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 no. Uh, see, act is very specific, Yogita. When you are talking about act, act is very specific. I will come to that. Uh, Yogita, you just have to give me some time because we are going to do paired preposition. There I am going to explain about the difference between them. Okay, just give me uh, about five minutes time. I will explain. Now, when you are talking about on, on is referred to a surface. As in I can say that the, uh, the teacher was writing on the blackboard. Now the blackboard is a surface, right? I can say that, um, uh, what else? Uh, I can say the book was kept on the table. So uh, the table is a surface, right? Then the next one, when you are talking about at guys, at is also reference to a specific place. Now, I can say, I will meet you at the um, restaurant, okay? At the restaurant indicating at a particular restaurant. Or I will meet you at the entrance. Or I will meet you at the uh, institute where we are going for the cat class, right? So, at is very specific. Be it time, be it place, it is very specific. You, I am at, I live at Bandara. You can say I live at Bandara. Okay, fine. Now let's uh, go to the next one. Uh, guys, do you want me to write down the examples uh, here? Okay, uh, fine, uh, guys, let's look at the next one. Do you want me to write the examples here? Preposition for place? Yes, guys? 
quickly give me an answer accordingly i will move ahead Please write the examples. Okay, okay. Uh, so I write the example. So the first one I can say Mary is sleeping in the bedroom. Mary is sleeping in the bedroom. Now on I can say uh, the book is kept on the table. What is the cutoff for OBC for IMABC for? Okay, so VARC cutoff is 80 percentile. 80 percentile. Okay, for OBC it will be uh, 70 to 75 percentile. Somewhere in between. 70 to 75. Okay, now here you see you are using in the bedroom, on the table and for this I will meet you at the entrance. Virtual boundary means there is a boundary. Wherever you are, there is a boundary. Okay? Which is enclosing. There is an enclosure where you are in. Are you able to understand Aishwarya? Yeah, guys? Yes, uh, now is it clear guys? What you should do, you know, guys, when I'm giving you examples, make two of your own. When you are, uh, um, you know, actually practicing. So what will happen is, you don't need to mug the rules. You can easily uh, remember the rules if you make uh, examples on your own. Okay. Uh, so Rahul Singh, uh, my score I think is in material here. I never wanted to go to the IMs and do MBA. My passion is to teach. So what my score was I think is in material. If I am able to teach you people effectively and you are able to grasp what I am teaching, I think I am successful as a teacher. Okay. I think I have answered your question, Rahul. Please concentrate on what score you want to get. Okay, fine. Uh, the next one, the third one is preposition for directions. Okay, when you are talking about using a preposition to indicate a direction, so what is it that you are going to use? The prepositions used are into, to, through or towards. Now, these examples are, uh, I am in the auditorium. TKC creation, you can say, I am in the auditorium right now. Good evening, Ashutosh. Yes? Fine. Now, look at the examples, guys. I have parked my car to the left, to the left of the road. So, I am indicating a direction that I have parked my car there, right? Manish Gupta, I write, I take only the VARC section, <laughs> okay? The next one, this bus is moving towards the north, again indicating a direction. Then, the frog jumped into the well. So, when I say he jumped he jumped into the well. Again, I am indicating a direction where it has jumped. Right? So, into the well. And then I passed through the bypass. Now, when I say I passed through the bypass or the train um, uh, passed through the, um, what do you say, 
through the tunnel to reach its destination right so these are all indicating directions right guys are you able to follow quickly please understand if you have a doubt quickly ask me jaldi jaldi then i'll proceed jaldi jaldi bolo if you followed then i'll move on okay right i'll move on to the next one now prepositions for agent now this one guys the prepositions used here are by and with right now these prepositions are used to indicate now be careful this is used to indicate a cause between the noun and the action so there should be a cause between the doer and the action when you use these preposition right the what is anchal saying uh, can't we say that this bus is moving you uh, so anchal uh, i keep repeating this see we speak, uh, the way we speak na uh, that is not grammatically correct na what i am telling you this is the rules of grammar so when you are saying that a bus is moving so it is moving towards a particular direction right i am walking towards the temple manish the train departed no no tanish it should be the train departed from the station it is not through the station it can pass through the station are you able to get my point ma'am it's my first class so how please start with the basics ashutosh uh basics of grammar basics of vocab please do that okay now please look at this example a nice book was written by john keats so john keats is the famous english poet right so now see who is the doer the doer is john keats and what is the action writing right so now see if i say that i went for shopping with my friends i went for shopping with my friends right so now you see who is doing the action i and what is the uh, um, uh, who is the doer i the action is shopping can you see guys it is used to indicate a cause between the doer and an action doer means uh, risky like if i say i went for shopping i am the doer na no? i am going for shopping right ma'am the king in the north uh, i didn't get it um, for um, the king in the north uh, how is it that how is uh, i mean i am not able to uh, follow what exactly you want to convey ashika soni ashika agar main bolti hu ki i went for shopping to kaun gaya shopping mein main kar rahi hu na wo action so i am going for shopping right so i am the doer Our action is shopping. Yes, yes, uh, definitely. Please read good novels. I have, uh, I have done a, a video. You, it is available in. Uh, you can check it up on YouTube. Uh, the best books for VARC. You can check up there. I have given you the names of novels and the newspapers that you can read. Magazines. rc lecture i have already started i have done the basics now this week i am going to do tones of rc then we'll get started correct devesh you are right the person who performs the action
chai is made by chai is made by meena okay fine so meena is the doer and the action is making game of thrones mein game of thrones i'm really not able to understand sora what you're trying to say okay guys i hope this is like when i'm talking about this also a nice book was written by john keats keats is the doer and what is the action action is this writing this room is decorated de uh, decorated by avni correct so uh, avni is the doer and uh, what is the action decoration correct sheetal let's move on to the next one now prepositions for instruments whenever you are using a preposition okay every day i have the lecture nayan every day at 7 pm i have the class here on an academic cat okay now prepositions for instruments devices or machines okay now what are the prepositions used by and with now guys this is where you know students get confused because uh, the previous one pre prepositions for agent there also you were using by and with but see here the context changes between the previous one and this the context changes the preposition is the same but the context changes now can you look at this correct ashutosh you are right then susan watered the plants with the pipe now guys there should be a an instrument device or a machine used when you are using prepositions for instrument devices or machines so here your pipe is a device through which you um through which you water the uh, plants right so this is your device now he broke the wall with the hammer now this is an instrument right so what what are you using you are using with here okay train traveled by bus so this is a machine isn't it are you able to get it guys when you are using prepositions for instruments devices or machines yes guys quickly go through this and tell me if it is correct i mean if you have followed it and then i can proceed uh ma'am game of thrones is a famous english tv series that i know in which we had this dialogue the king in the north now see guys one more thing sudanshu the language which is used in movies uh, i mean i really don't know in which context this was used so i can't really comment on this i am writing with a pen yes yes i open the lock with a key very good he broke the wall with the hammer it is not by by is a machine i have completed my calculations with the help of a calculator very good yes correct you can say i checked my temperature with a thermometer so usually guys uh, if you want to say when you are traveling she traveled by bus she traveled by car she traveled by um, metro right so by is usually used for machines is it clear guys can i move on i charged my phone with a charger yes you can say that with a charger
it's not by nisha see i told you when you are using a means of travel please use by don't use uh, see I, i straightened my hair with the hair straightener i killed him with a knife oh my god okay no no ritika i am chilling with my friends is not correct where is the device where is the machine where is the instrument here i charged it will be charged to my headphone with a charger i cut the vegetables with a knife yes yeah can we move on guys is it clear i think all of you have got the hang of it now guys please be very very careful here because these are rules which you have to follow fine now i am giving you the difference between in and within now guys the first one in so uh, if it is with regards to time now here in i am talking with reference to time okay so if i say see in reference to any point after the time which has been signified now if i say this building will be completed in a week that means that building will be completed after the stipulated time that is after this week and before the coming week please explain by again so uh, see nisha it is very simple very simple whenever you are using by see that you are using a machine i came see you can say i came to the institute by car right uh, i came i traveled uh, by a train from ahmedabad to bangalore So listen, Aishwarya. The, uh, see, there are several usages, okay? But at this, if you understand, I am talking about devices, instruments, and machines. So when you use that, you use with. See, there will be several usages of with, but this is with reference to machine, uh, devices, or instruments. Are you able to get my point? इन वाला रिपीट कर दू हाँ अभी फिर से कर रही हूँ मैं इनका थोड़ा सा सॉल्व कर दू डाउट निशा डिड यू फॉलो निशा बाय सी वेन एवर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रेन एरोप्लेन कार बाइक ओके सो इन दिस केस यू यूज बाय Yeah, yeah, means of transportation. Correct. I I didn't at all start uh, explaining within. So just let me explain that now. Okay. So listen. If I say my flat will be completed in a month's time. Okay. Now look at this example. My flat will be ready. in a month's time okay now if you see i'm using in what does it mean it means suppose i'm talking about i am in december right so what does it mean in a month means after december that is after this month before the start of the next month are you able to get it now if i say this building will be completed in a week it doesn't mean it will be completed within that week it means at a date after that week uh sheetal please uh, correct correct devesh you are right 
Chetan, please refresh the page. Guys, sabko in samaj mein aaya ki nahi. In, if it is given in a week, that means after that week. If it is given in a month, it means after that month. So, uh, Yogita, today I am telling you that my, suppose on the 1st of December, I am telling you that my flat will be completed in a month. What I mean is, after December, sometime in January, my house will be, my flat will be completed. Now, I want Yogita, Aishwarya and Vimlesh. Did you follow? Please let me know. What will fall in a month? What do you mean Balaji Rao? Building will fall in a month? Correct. Very good Ranjana. So in a week's time means after that particular week. Within means within that. That is from Monday to Sunday. Sometime within that it will be completed. Yes, it means after the stipulated time. Okay, Abhi now if you look at within, guys look at within now, okay. Within means any point of time before which has been signified. Now if I say this building will be completed within a week, if I am talking about say what is the date today, today is the 17th or the 18th. Today we have, it is 18, 19, 20. Suppose I say this building will be complete. Suppose if I am, um, if I am talking to you on the 21st of December. Okay. So what I say is this building will be completed within a week. So 21st is Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. So what will be the date? 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. So what does this mean? My building will be completed before 27th. Are you able to follow it? Vimlesh, Yogita, Aishwarya. I will reach within an hour means एक घंटे से पहले आप पहुंच जाओगे वहां पे, right? Now guys, tell me whether you are able to understand or not. I don't mind explaining it again, but please get it straight. Vimlesh, did you follow? Yogita, Aishwarya. Correct, Yogita. Very good. Now all of you followed. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Now look at the difference between in and into guys. The next one is in and into. Now this is with reference to place. I already told you in refers to a state of rest in a virtual boundary. Okay. Now look at the example. Mary was resting in the bedroom. That means there is an enclosure. Mary is resting in that place. Otherwise, you can also say that, you know, um, uh, I was walking in the garden. Walking, uh, sorry, I was walking in the park. Now, park also has an enclosure, right? So, I am walking in the park, right? 
no not by i i will be completing my work this weekend okay see anayan again i am not saying the usages are restricted to only this i was sitting in the classroom yes shrishti right and now when you are talking about into into means to enter a specific area or space so you can say the boy jumped into the pool he is entering a, a specific place i can also say the frog jumped into the well correct jyoti correct now i can also say uh, we walked into the jungle put some oil into the vessel no put some oil in the vessel it is not into it is not you are not entering a specific area no now see you can say we walked into the jungle we walked into the jungle are you able to follow yogita it is not inside into means entering a specific area you can say i walked into the conference hall you are walking into a specific area if you say in that means you are already in an enclosed place are you able to get it no devesh that's not correct it is not i was staring at the sky i jumped into the car is correct you can say i jumped into the car you are jumping into a specific place are you able to get it guys all of you are entering a specific area i walked into the party i walked into the classroom now uh, manish what connect does i am riding a car have why into the sink devesh paras yeah in means you are in an enclosed area okay and into means you are entering a new area a specific area five year five year old boy drowned in the pool correct a five year old boy drowned in the pool i'm moving ahead guys now let's look at in now in guys the difference between in and on with reference to time now of course in i have already explained refers to months years on refers to dates and days these i have already explained what do you mean by i am riding into the space how can you ride into the space yes i dived into the water correct i was swimming in the pool correct i jumped into the pool see i am swimming in the pool because you are already there in the pool but whereas if you are talking about jumping that means you are entering a specific area are you able to get my point all of you guys do like and share na don't forget to like and share Hey Balaji Rao, you should say I am feeling sleepy, not I am in sleep. Okay, 
Now, this part is clear, I guess. Quickly, guys. I don't want to waste time. Come on. I'm in love. Yeah, yeah. That you can say. Okay. Let's move on, guys. Now, guys, now the difference between in and at. This is very, very important. Please pay attention. The difference between in and at. I jumped into an ocean. Correct, correct, Manish. Now, guys, when you are talking of in, it refers to a place. So, you say, I live in Bangalore. So, Bangalore being the place, right? At refers to, I told you, at is very specific, right? At is very specific. So, how will you form a sentence using at and in? You can say, I live at number one Margosa Road. Now, this is your address. The address is very specific, right? It can't be general, right? Then you are using in, which is reference to place. Please be very, very careful. In is used before the place. At is used before the address. Yeah, okay, correct, Bimlesh. Of a hill, not the hill, of a hill. Because we are not, you didn't specify the name of the hill, right? So, you can say, I live at the top of a hill. I live at Bukaro Sector 4 in Jharkhand. Yes, Aman, correct. Okay, can we move on? I live at Sector 12 in Gurgaon. Yes, Sheetal, right. Let's move ahead. Now, guys, let's see this. The next pair, pair preposition is between and among. So, between refers to two. Now, guys, when, you're, when uh, there are two friends, I can say, the cake was shared between the two friends because the reference is to two. Because the reference is to two. When it is more than two, you use among. So, among refers, refers to more than two or if undefined. Suppose they say three or four, you should use among. Or if the number is not mentioned, then you can use among two. Now, look look at this sentence. Look at this example. The birthday cake was shared among the friends. Now, here it is undefined. They are not giving you the number. Okay? No, no. I am at DB Mall. In shopper stop because shopper stop is in uh, DB mall, right? Guys, is it clear? See, the distance between my college and coaching is almost 15 kilometers. That's correct. There is nothing wrong with it, Devesh. Now, again and again, I am telling you, these prepositions have several usages. Okay? But when you are referring to people, when you are referring to individuals, this is what you are supposed to use. If it, is, if it is for two, you will use between. If it is for more than two, you will use among. The news will only be among us. Okay. Now, 
Now I'm used to no no Nisha Nisha the you didn't frame the sentence correctly. I like to I like to share the information among my students. I'm not saying between because there are so many of you. I like to share the information among my students. No, no, it cannot be between six. Between is used for two. Balaji Rao. Balaji, between you can't use with six. Between can be used only with two. So I gave you the exam. I can say that I like to share I like to share my knowledge among the students can you see this nisha i like to share my knowledge among the students chocolates will be distributed among the students correct yogita you can't distribute this chocolate among the class correct Fund was shared among eight corporates. Okay. Uh, Manish, that is a little uh, vague. Correct. Uh, TKC, you are right. So guys, I will do one thing. I will finish the session here because there is lot of uh, information to be shared. I have to keep another um session for prepositions to explain the rest because i have ex uh, practice exercise too so let me end the session here and i will continue it uh, in the next class maybe next week i will do uh, the practice exercise as well as the rest of the uh, rules with you does that sound good because uh, we just have around 6 minutes and i can't complete it does that sound good guys now, did you all like and share quickly? Information will be shared by the teacher among the students. Aishwarya, information for the picnic will be shared by the teacher among the students. Correct, Sheetal. Okay, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again tomorrow sharp at 7. Okay. Great, guys. Uh, please do like and share. And uh, I will share the rest of the information in the next class. Now, verbal ability session is taken by Harpreet Ma'am in the morning at 9, uh, 9.30 a.m. Uh, verbal ability session is taken by me from 7 to 8 p.m. every evening. And then we have Amit sir taking quantitative ability from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. LRDI by Ashish sir from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, Pratik sir uh, taking quantitative ability again from 10 to 11 p.m. So please do subscribe to hashtag cat life daily and you will be able to get the notification of the class. Thank you, Nisha. Thank you, Nisha. Okay, uh, guys, uh, then um, download the Telegram channel. Uh, click on the URL, uh, livedaily.me slash chat and look for an academic cat. You will be able to download the PDF from here. Thank you, Sudanshu. And an academy subscription, very, very important. Guys, if you take a subscription, you will have live classes every day. You can interact with the educator on a personal basis and we provide ample number of practice sessions for you. The mock test, which is an integral part of CAT, 
is included in your subscribed course and every fourth session is a doubt clearing session now you can see the advantage of taking a subscription and you just have to go to play store download the an, an academy learning app and install you have to look for plus platform your goal is cat what do you find here you find 30 plus hours of sessions every day it's up to you how many sessions you attend and these sessions are available in english as well as hindi which is you know an added advantage and more than 14 top educators will be there to help you out okay and uh, guys i have started a 2021 course right from the grassroots level so i have the classes from monday to friday from 8 15 a.m to 9 15 a.m those who are interested in taking a subscription go ahead and take it now okay and guys if you are uh, taking cat 2021 uh, please go for the 12 month subscription which is just 1458 per month and if you are going for 2022 cat then take the 24 month subscription which is just 875 now uh, that means um, for 12 months which was costing you 17500 if you use my referral code you can get 10 percent discount and that will cost you only 15750 and for 24 months um which is which actually costs you 21000 uh, will cost you just 18,900 if you use my coupon code BYLIV. That means when you are subscribing to the Plus platform, they will ask you for a referral code. Please do use my referral code BYLIV. Okay, great guys. And please do like and share uh, without fail. Before you leave, please do like uh, and share and subscribe to hashtag CatLifeDaily and you will be able to get the notifications and the updates about the classes this way and it's not only cat you have me je 9 10th 11 12th everything available on an academy and last but not the least guys my referral code as i was just talking about it it is bylive please use it and get 10 percent discount take care have a great evening and a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. sharp. Bye-bye.